Hello and welcome, all you grand beings of light. Welcome to another Lunch with Lisa. I am Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing, now in its 10th anniversary edition, available on Amazon. <laughs> this is a book I wrote after I healed myself from cancer naturally by doing nothing other than shifting my consciousness and allowing my body to do what it does best, heal itself. We are given these beautiful, amazing bodies that are designed to be self-healing. Yet, we're never really encouraged to allow the body to heal itself. We are encouraged to use pills and fancy procedures to fight diseases. And this is the dilemma. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between creating health and allowing your body to heal itself and fighting a disease. The two things, fighting a disease and allowing the body to heal itself are two mutually exclusive activities. If we are fighting a disease, battling our bodies. We're literally battling our bodies. Because whatever has been termed a disease is actually a meaningful biological process that the body is going through in response to a trauma that you have experienced. Traumas can be all types of things. They can be very subtle, like just feeling like life isn't working. Just a general feeling of just ick. Nothing specific, but that's a sign. If you're not feeling fantastic, there is something that needs to be addressed. And that something is in your consciousness. It's in your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, your emotions. The dis-ease is not in your physical body. It is in the mental and emotional bodies. But then when the dis-ease in the mental and emotional body is not addressed and mitigated, it will show up as something in your physical body because your physical body is the outpicturing of your consciousness. So our consciousnesses have been taught disease. We have been taught, doctor knows best. There's a pill for that. Better ask your doctor and see if that pill is right for you. Oh, have you gotten your mammogram yet? You better find out if something's going on in there. We have been taught all of these beliefs. They're not authentically ours. We are grand beings of light. We are creators. And in our pure, authentic state, we simply create beauty, joy, ease. We create in harmony with the universe because when we're in harmony with the universe, we simply ask and it's given. If we have an idea, something that we would like to experience, we set our focus on it and draw that experience to us. 
It's actually really, 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 really simple. But that's not the way it works here because we don't believe that anymore. We have forgotten the nature of our being. We have forgotten that we are grand beings of light. We have forgotten our creator abilities. And we now have no idea that we are generating our own misery with other people's thought patterns. If we're experiencing misery, it's because we have a, we're looking through a lens of misery. Whatever that lens might look like, it might look like fear, it might look like anxiety, it might look like poverty, it might look like broken relationships, it might look like broken bank accounts, it might look like can't find a job, it might look like don't know what to do, I feel ashamed of myself, all kinds of things. There's infinite ways that we can put ourselves through suffering. And we have been taught to suffer. And the reason I say that is because as grand beings of light, we are simply in harmony with the universe. We work with and through the universal laws. And everything is beautiful and harmonious. But that's not what's happening here on this planet. So here on this planet, we are being traumatized at every turn. Every time you turn on the news, bad news, blah, another trauma. Now there's something bad happening in the world. We go out in social circles and people are having fights or people betray us or, you know, people don't show up when they say they're going to show up. You know, these are traumas. They don't have to be ginormous. I got hit by a truck type trauma. But constant disappointment, those are traumas. And if we don't understand how to start clearing the trauma out of our energy field, we will continue to generate more and more and more trauma. Our physical bodies are designed to respond to our traumas. That response may be creating extra cells that then are called tumors. It may be depleting the number of cells called osteoporosis. It could be changes in function but every single thing our bodies do, they do with meaning and purpose. They are divinely designed by source itself. They are designed to perfection and they are designed to last for thousands of years. Well, Lisa, that's completely untrue because nobody lives past a hundred or very few people. So you're obviously wrong. Well, guess what? No, I'm not. <laughs> our bodies follow our consciousness. And we have been taught that life is short. We have been taught that we age. We have been taught that we get old. We have been taught that the longer we live, the less vitality we have. So it happens as we believe. We simply walk straight down that pathway of beliefs, a pre-paved pathway. We simply assume that those things are true. When clearly with some... It, just some investigation internally. <laughs> when we start to tap into what do we actually know, we can start to easily unravel these, these assumptions 
as you me assume right stories in the bible people lived hundreds if not thousands of years it wasn't some anomaly these stories were actually true about how long our bodies are designed to last But if we are so busy fighting diseases, we are not creating the health that we desire. We are creator beings. We create in every moment of every day and we are experiencing our creations. Whatever you are experiencing right here, right now, you have created it. You have aligned yourself with that thing that you are experiencing. So right now you are experiencing your life is the culmination of all of your beliefs. It happens as you believe and you have been taught what to believe. You were sent off to school concentrate concentrate on what the teachers are telling you they call it school because if they called it a concentration camp you wouldn't send your kids what we focus on what we concentrate on becomes our reality we are creator beings and when we focus on, I'm not okay, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of, I have to prevent disease, I have to make sure that that doesn't happen to me. Well, you're reacting to an idea. And by reacting to that idea, you're going to draw that idea directly to you in one way or another. So when your body starts to malfunction, your body's not malfunctioning. Your body is sending you a signal. It is sending you a message. It's saying, hey, you're thinking thoughts that don't belong to you. You're thinking thoughts that are out of alignment with the truth of who you are. You are a grand being of light, but you are currently believing that you are less than that. You are currently believing that you're the opposite, that you're a victim, that there's something wrong with you. Whatever those thought patterns are, your body is not malfunctioning. Your body is functioning exactly as it is designed to function. But we are taught disease. We are taught that we have to fight the things that are in our bodies, the symptoms that appear in our bodies. We are told that they are sicknesses, that they are diseases, that they are viruses that need to be killed off. Well, the only thing you're killing off is your own cells. Your body is responding to your consciousness. And until we change our consciousness around our bodies and we start to focus on the divine self-healing design of our bodies and we start to learn what our bodies are telling us and we start to trust our bodies to heal themselves naturally by changing our consciousness, by clearing out whatever the thought patterns are that are limiting us, the body is not the problem. The thoughts you're thinking that are causing dis-ease internally, those are the problem. Are you feeling trapped in a job? Are you feeling stuck without money? Are you feeling like you're a victim? Are, what are those patterns of dis-ease that are going on internally? Because your body is literally showing you exactly 
the thing you're thinking about. If your lungs are speaking to you, it's because you've been thinking thoughts about death that are not true. We can't die. We are life itself. Even if the body ceases to function, which they call death, you keep going. You don't cease to exist. We are grand beings of light. We are not physical beings. We cannot die. If you have arthritis, you're having a self-devaluation about whatever, if it's in your fingers, like a self-devaluation of, oh, my fingers aren't nimble enough or they're not strong enough or, you know, people that sew a lot get arthritis in their fingers because they do a lot of fine detail work and you know if they if they keep missing the missing the needle or whatever it is mess up something with their hands they get arthritis in their fingers because they're beating themselves up over getting it wrong making a mistake what what body part is speaking to you. If it has to do with your digestive system, what is it about life that you're not able to digest? What was the thing that was a trauma that you couldn't digest, that you didn't know what to do with? Your body is speaking to you. It is not broken. It is not diseased. And if you are fighting a disease, you are not creating health. You are not healing. Healing and fighting disease, two mutually exclusive activities. Diseases don't exist. They're the illusion. They've been given names to make them appear real, but they're not real. Your body's responses are real and they are biologically meaningful. They are literally your body trying to help you. So if you are fighting some disease, you're literally fighting a losing battle. I cannot be more clear than that. We are grand beings of light and we have come to this planet to put an end to the suffering. We have to stop participating in the activities that amplify our suffering. We have to stop participating in disease altogether. We have to recognize what's actually happening so we can extract ourselves from that entire layer of consciousness because it is distorted. It is inverted, it is backwards. It is built on an incorrect assumption. I learned this firsthand when I was facing cancer. At that time, I thought I was being attacked by a killer disease and it was really, really scary. It was painful on many, many levels. But what seemed even more painful was the pre prescribed pathway that the medical model offers. That seemed really painful to me. And to me, that seemed like it was going to add insult to injury. And it was clear to me that I'm not here to suffer. And it's clear to me that my body was designed to heal itself every time a bump, a break, a bruise, a sprain always had healed itself. Cut. Body heals itself. So I sat long enough to tune into my body's ability to heal itself. 
And that's what happened. I activated that ability. I saw through the illusion of cancer. I realized that's not what's happening to my body. I'm not being attacked by anything. My body was responding to the emotional environment that I had provided. I was struggling through life. My body was reflecting the struggle. As soon as I realized that cancer was not attacking me, I stopped worrying about it. I stopped fearing it because I realized it wasn't real. I realized that it was an illusion, false evidence appearing real. When we look at the surface appearance of things, what we see is dependent upon the lens we're looking through. If there's a car accident, eight different people see it from eight different views, you're going to get eight different stories of what happened. The surface appearance changes depending on who and what is looking, who, what lens they're looking through. So when we're looking through the lens of disease, which we have all been taught to look through, we are being sold this lens on a daily basis. That's what we're going to see. When you take the blinders off, you see something completely different. When those lenses that distort the, the perception are gone and you can see clearly, it's obvious that we're not being attacked by diseases. So today I ask you, you are a grand creator being. What are you creating? Are you creating health and vibrant well-being? Or are you too busy fighting a disease, generating more and more disease? These are the only two options when it comes to health. If you're trying to prevent a disease or fight against a disease, you are on the losing side. You are focused on disease. Physical degradation is the only thing that you will be able to generate from that. Creating health and vitality is a completely different deal. Creating health and vitality opens the flow of living life force energy and that allows living life force energy to flow through your body. And this is the medicine your body needs. There is no pill for that. There is only you for that. Are you willing to take your health and vitality into your own hands? Are you willing to stop participating in that which is making you suffer? I hope this was helpful to you today. My name is Lisa Warner. I am the author of The Simplicity of Self-Healing. You can find that on Amazon. You can find my more about me and what, is, what it is I offer at my website connecting you to you.com. Thank you for watching today. Until next week, create for yourselves a great week. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.